hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is Austin back again with another simple tutorial for you guys I think the beginners in case you never knew about this then it will also help you so I'm going to show you how you can set a simple meta theme color on your website and what I'm talking about is are you seeing this header section where you're seeing this Austin code cipher word we want users on the mobile devices to get the same color in this web address bar zone so where you see my cursor we want this place to adapt to the same color like this so it gives some unique appearance on your website i know you may not get me right now but this is something even used by bigger sites like facebook yahoo so on their mobile sites they tend to use that meta theme color to appear in the web address bar so let, let us switch to the mobile device and see what I'm really talking about. On my phone, and we are going to implement that meta color theme on this website. You can see by default where you're seeing the batteries, the time, it's all white. What I want to do, I want my website to adapt the, yeah, the nav bar color to also appear in the web address zone. You can see the live example is here on Facebook. They also use that meta color tag or theme on their website you can see where the battery is and the time it's adapting the same applies to the framework that i'm using they also use that simple functionality on their website so where you're seeing the time the battery the network signals they adapt that area with the people going to be implementing on my website and this is just a simple line that you have to place in the head section it's called a meta theme color so that's what i'm going to be showing you in this simple tutorial then i'll also come back and show you how it looks like on the mobile device guys since you have seen what i was talking about let me show you how you can implement this simple meta theme color on your website as i said go to the head section of your website where you put the head tag and create a simple meta tag you can place it anywhere you want I'm going to place mine there I'm going to say meta then you close it like that and it takes in two attributes the one that we want is the name and the value is theme dash color so we want to set the theme color for our website then the next attribute is content and content is the color that we want to apply to our website so and it's very very simple my theme color here is let me see zero zero seven then nine six b but now here it takes in an hexadecimal value so we have to start with the hash symbol or pound symbol so save this upload the files to your server and you see how your web address bar will be looking like so we'll get this color of your website or the theme color for your website by default it is white it is white but now i want this to be custom to my website color and this is what i want so i'm going to save this upload this file to my server and we go back to the mobile device and show you how it's now looking like back on my device i have finished to upload the file to my server and i want this address area bar to turn into that color that i set as my meta theme color so i'm going to refresh and see the change you can see now my web address bar looks like other sites that have that functionality applied to them it's like facebook now it adapts that blue color on the site like the materialized css framework the one that i'm using also on my site so you can see that it creates a unique appearance for your website so everything is custom when somebody comes on your website it will be legit so that's what i was trying to show you guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead subscribe to my channel 
and i will always see you in the next tutorials peace